Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 30th of August 2023. I'm Nikkei Oshini, bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, Meta makes moves on NFTs. Musk uses whistleblower to end Twitter deal. Crypto CEO arrested in Albania. FTX CEO denies misleading reports. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First off, Social media giant Meta announced the integration of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, to Facebook, adding that NFT creators can now showcase their digital collectibles across Facebook and Instagram. Some of the wallets supported by the social media giants include Coinbase Wallet and MetaMask Wallet. In an updated blog post, Meta revealed that users can link their digital wallets to either Facebook or Instagram, thereby making it possible to post NFTs across both platforms. Meta earlier stated that NFT creators and businesses in 100 countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia Pacific, and the Americas will be able to display their digital collectibles on Instagram. At the time, the social media giant stated that the platform will only support Ethereum, Polygon and Flow blockchains on Instagram. The ability to share NFTs on social media apps first started with a trial on Instagram with select creators and collectors in the United States. While Meta's continuous expansion of the feature to include Facebook and users beyond the US is a testament to the company's plans to allow widespread access to NFTs. A statement in May read this. By building support for NFTs, we aim to improve accessibility, lower barriers to entry, and help make the NFT space more inclusive to all communities. Moving on, Tesla's Elon Musk submitted another deal termination notice to Twitter. However, this time, Musk cited Whistleblower as a new reason to end this $44 billion with the social media giant. Earlier, a report read that Twitter's ex-security chief Peter Zatko disclosed that the social media platform misled regulators over spam and bot accounts data. He added that they don't hold any such resources that can calculate the exact number of bots. The whistleblower also stated that Twitter was not planning to get that data. Elon Musk has already accused Twitter of not disclosing the essential details required in the $44 billion deal. However, both Musk and Twitter have filed subpoenas regarding the Zatko. Meanwhile, Turkey-based Albanian police have arrested Faith Ozer, the founder and CEO of cryptocurrency trading platform Thodex who has been sought by Turkish authorities over fraud accusations. The process to extradite Oza to Turkey has started, according to a statement from the Interior Ministry. Turkish prosecutors are pursuing jail sentences totaling thousands of years for the founders and executives of Thodex. They are accused of establishing a criminal organization, fraud through informatic systems and laundering proceedings from criminal activity, according to the prosecutors. Thodex was part of the cryptocurrency boom driven by local investors seeking to protect their savings from soaring inflation and an unstable currency. The prosecution indictment said total losses due to the collapse of the exchange amounted to 356 million liras, which is equivalent to $24 million. And finally, Sam Bankman-Fried, the founder and CEO of FTX, has denied rumors making rounds that his cryptocurrency exchange is engaging in talks to acquire Huobi Global. About two weeks ago, it was reported that Leon Lee, the founder of the Huobi Global, was seeking to sell a 60% stake in the company due to growing financial difficulties. The deal would value the company at $3 billion. Early speculations linked Bankman Fried's FTX, which has already extended financial lifelines to several troubled crypto companies in the past few months, including Exchange BlockFi and Lender Voyager Digital. However, the crypto billionaire has announced via Twitter that his company wasn't planning to buy the exchange. Just to be explicit because apparently a lot of people are saying this. No, we are not planning to acquire Huobi. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com. And also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus, and on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our program. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I am Nikkei Oshini. Until next time.